You're listening to Adelaide's 88.7 Coast FM. And currently we are joined in the studio by Tom D. Prince and Daniel Altman from The Cameraman. How are you guys tonight? Hey, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Pretty That's good. good. Thank you for coming in tonight. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Now... Obviously, you guys are, I think, is an indie rock band, is that right? Yeah, we'll, we'll sure. take that. Yeah. Beautiful, all right. So, for those of us who don't know you guys very well, how would you describe your sound? What's the mood like? Uh, I'd say it's sort of a little more melancholy. Uh, it's quite sort of progressive pop, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's sort of music's hard to describe, you know. Yeah, we sort of we play with the, the sort of standard lineup for a five piece. We've got two guitars, a bass, keyboard, and drummer. Um, but, yeah, we like to chuck in a few extra instruments there, so um, cool. you know, we're not against using a lot of strings in the music as well. Obvi- okay. Obviously not in the live versions, but you know, we try. <laughs> now, that would be impressive. <laughs> All right. Well, what would you guys say that your roles were in the band? I mean, I wrote quite a bit of the music along with uh, Richard. Uh, we worked together quite a bit on that, whereas uh, Tom's sort of... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I play the keyboard, but I've got a, quite a large role in sort of organisation of the yeah. band and, you know, the hard part of the band. The easy part's the music, the hard part's the, the <laughs> business s- side I'll of the band. stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the hard worker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, so how did you guys actually meet? I mean, it's kind of funny because we're sort of like a daisy chain of people who knew each other. Mm-hmm. Um As in, so Richard knew Aaron, and then Aaron knew me, and then I knew Tom, and then I might have gotten that order mixed up, but you know. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, we just sort of meet each other um, all around. Um, Our basis Mm -hmm. was uh, playing on my hockey team, um, and I just found out he played bass, and we needed a bassist, and uh, sort of, yeah, you you play bass, you can come along, and (laughs) I'm glad I asked. It's been been working out well so far, so uh, it's been good. Awesome. Now... You said that you, you, Daniel, knew Tom. So how did you guys know each other? Uh, I mean, we've been friends uh, since high school. So. Oh, beautiful. Well, all the way back well, at primary, primary school. school. Yeah, I mean, we, were friends, <laughs> we were friends through high school, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's lovely. Good yeah. to see a friendship that lasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't remember when we met each other, but sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah, no. Been a fair few years. It's been a while. Oh, that's good. Um, so just before we heard the song June, can you tell us about how that song came about? I mean, that was one of my songs. Um, it was quite sort of screwing around with uh, with different sort of scales and keys and time signatures and that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know. It's yeah. Yeah, it was very. Um, it was really old. That one actually it was all the way back in high school, quite a few many years ago. Mm-hmm. And I remember you sort of made this this uh, sort of MIDI for it and sort of mm. sent me and said, oh, we've got this idea with these chords. And I, at the time, I was really into sort of um, doing some production work on my computer. Mm-hmm. And I sort of turned his um, minute and a half worth of chords into, I think it was about eight minutes of <laughs> synth, yeah. synth um, soundscape. And luckily, we kind of moved away from that. Some of the actual original synths ended up in the final recording yeah, version, which, is, which, which worked Worked out better than I expected. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's much nicer now than it was. Yeah, oh, That's really cool. <laughs> What's the actual meaning behind the song? Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, although I wrote it, I didn't write the lyrics. So ah. I can't really comment on that very well. Okay. <laughs> and who did write the lyrics? Uh, that was Richard. So ah, he's our lead singer. So. Okay. Very nice. Um, generally speaking, what is the songwriting process like? Do you guys just kind of do it collaboratively? What happens there? Um, usually one of us comes up with like a skeleton to a song. Um, either there are, you know, a couple of ideas that sort of fit together. Um, and then that sort of, you know, and that usually comes together either, either as like a MIDI file or, a, or like a garage band demo or something like that. Just something really simple just to show others. Um, and then from there it just sort of gets built on um, with other band members inputting on top of that and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's it's fairly collaborative. We have tried to do that the sort of stereotypical collaborative jam, thing jam where session. we all get yeah. in a room and say, all right, let's write, <laughs> write a song, guys. You know, we can't leave this room till we've written a song, but it yeah, never, never works never like that. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> so essentially one person brings in an idea and then you sort of work on it from yeah, there. Or, yeah, or we tell them that it's trash. That happens quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. True story. <laughs> True story. Fair enough. Actually, just going back to June, so you said you wrote the music first and then Richard must have put the lyrics in later. Yeah. But when you first wrote the music, did you have an idea for what it would be like or what the, what were the feelings behind it? I don't, 
I don't know. I've always sort of seen mu- the way I think about music is much more musical. Mm-hmm. I don't know the like. Well, good lyrics. I don't know. Bad lyrics don't break a song for me, right? Um, so I don't know. Um, like, yeah. It, I think I think it's always had that kind of like not really foreign, but a little bit of a distant kind of feel because we did have yeah. we did have. I think lyrics back, you know, they were high school lyrics, so yeah. we'll ignore they ever existed. <laughs> yeah. um, but I, it's surprisingly, even though Richard came up with his completely own set of lyrics, I think the sort of the, the yeah, feel it's, it's is actually a, not It's too got a feel that sort of works with, you know, what he's come up with mm. over that. So, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Mm. All right. So you've now released a full-length album called Good Things Do Happen. How long have you guys been working on this album? About a, oh, over a year, over I would year. say. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it, so both a lot of us were in a band called Stock Exchange before, mm-hmm. um, and sort of we tried to get the band back together, and it wasn't quite working. Um, and so a lot of that ended up going into this album. Um, so a lot of the sort of rejected. <laughs> Not, not rejected, but <laughs> that's, that is definitely not the right way. Yeah, but, stuff um, that didn't suit the previous band. Sure. Okay, yeah. okay um, cool. And what is it like actually making an album? Is it a big task putting the whole thing together, or do you do it bit by bit? What would you say? You have a lot of arguments with people <laughs> over over very small things. Yeah, um, yeah, and you, yeah, you really start to question your friendship sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's um, no, it's good fun, and it's nice seeing it come together as yeah. well. Because sometimes you have you have good songs, but they don't quite fit with the sort of the theme of the album or mm. all together. Mm. So it's nice when you finally sort of say, oh, we, you know, we have 11 songs or I think it's 10 or 11 songs. 11, yeah. Yeah, they sort of collect it together and you say, hey, these these all work together really well. And um, that was because reasonably early on we sort of got the, the track list down and we said, yeah. you know, not, the, not the order, but we had many arguments about that. But um, mm. uh, the... You know what songs we're going to put in there, and and then we could go about you know finishing and refining the song. So it was nice, sort of from the beginning, we could see that hey, this really wants to be an album. Okay, yeah. so it was nice. Yeah. So then, in saying that, I assume you've got other songs that haven't made it onto the album. Do you have plans for them to be created into a different album? I mean, there's sort of the very very early stages of oh, what could be on the second album, <laughs> um, but you know, it's it's nothing. It's nothing set in stone yet, but we have we have a lot of ideas for what we might want to do next. You know, and th- there was one or two songs which we thought was was yeah. nice but didn't quite fit in the album, so okay. we might go back and, and record and we, it. You know, we still have minor arguments about even you know what we've all, <laughs> what we've released already. So you know, it's. Not smooth sailing, but, you know. <laughs> well, it probably could never be absolutely smooth sailing. <laughs> sure. Is it five members in the band? Yeah, yeah, five, yeah. yeah. You're going to have you know, arguments <laughs> oh, yeah. there, no matter what. Well, what were your actual inspirations in making this album? What sort of sound were you trying to capture? Um, well, a lot, of it, a lot of it came out because we sort of bring in these sort of skeletons of songs. A lot of it was just sort of us experimenting and saying, you know, well, I wanted to try, you know, see what worked you know i've got this got this chord progression i want to see if i can actually build a song around it or that sort of thing um i mean we all we all have quite an influence quite the same influences um a lot of us you know yeah. big fans of radiohead, radiohead and um mm-hmm. sort of bowie and that sort of thing so you know you can never even if you're not directly influenced by them you can always you know always pick it and sort of say you know, you know writing songs like the songs we actually want to listen to yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course yeah all right, so the name of your album is Good Things Do Happen. What was the thinking behind this title? Uh, well, Good Things Do Happen was actually one of the uh, <laughs> rejected tracks for the album. Um, it almost made it on. Uh, it was in one of the, like, almost the final copy and didn't quite make it, um, just because the lyrical themes were basically repeats of some of the other songs um, already, um, and we decided it didn't quite fit. Um, and we thought it was a nice sort of statement because... Um, that's that's sort of the sort of um, feeling of sort of happiness through the album where it's quite it's quite a, a sad album at points, um, but it's not. We're not trying to make it too dramatic, mm-hmm. um, and um, so the the whole fr- the whole phrase "good things do happen" is kind of we liked it because it was it was both sort of a negative because you know it's a thing you say in sort of bad times, but it's also a positive because you know it is a 
yeah, you know, a positive statement. So yeah, it's melancholy, but it has that you know feeling yeah, so that yeah. Ad- yeah. Yeah, there is light at the end of the yeah, tunnel. Yeah, real right. mild optimism, which is kind of the kind of the feeling. <laughs> yeah, mild yeah. optimism. Yeah, it's really the feeling of the yeah. album. Which it, you're in the middle of the tunnel. Uh, there is yeah. light at the other end. Yeah. You might, you might, maybe yeah. eventually. Maybe two thirds of the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. No, that's a good explanation. I like that. So now that the album is out, what are your plans for the future? Uh, so we're hoping to start uh, gigging soon. We got a gig um, tomorrow. Fact, we have a gig tomorrow <laughs> night. That's pretty uh, soon. Yeah, at the uh, at the Metro in Adelaide. So that's a good start. Beautiful. Um, so that will be a fairly small gig, but hoping for larger gigs soon. <laughs> yeah, and, and just getting the album out there, and um, you know, um, the internet age. You know, we're trying to. It's been it's been nice being able to get it to quite. Yeah, quite a few n- number of people, and, um, yeah. and we've had we've had quite a good response so far. Mm. Um, we've got it to quite a few people, so yeah. you know, people that we never meet in real life, <laughs> and so yeah. that's good. Good, yeah. that's really good. So we're going to leave you guys with your la- latest single, "Dreams." Can you tell us a bit about it before we do hear that? Sure. So, um, uh, "Dreams" was Richard's song. Um, it sort of came from a very simple chord progression and sort of built on top of that. Um, I mean, yeah. So he played it live. Um, yeah. Quite early on, before we sort of started to think about forming this new band, um, just as a solo show by himself, and he played it, and um, a lot of people came up to him and said, "You know, oh, yeah. this, is, this is a good song." Positive and, you know, responses, um, and so yeah. and maybe he's just not used to that. But <laughs> <laughs> he thought, "Yeah, this is this is good." So yeah. Um, he, yeah. So we decided to sort of brought it to the band, and, and we put it all together, and yeah, we. I yeah, think right. I, I think it's turned out pretty well. So, <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. All right, so if people want to find out more about you guys, the cameramen, where should they go? Well, we obviously have Facebook, mm-hmm. and um, we've got our Bandcamp page. Um, From which up there. you can purchase our album. Um, which is, of course... Uh, <laughs> I forget this because we got the in the name, you know. So mm-hmm. cameraman band. Cameraman band dot band camp, dot band camp. Dot yeah. That's no. not confusing at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're going to go out with your song, Dreams. That's right. Thank you very much for thank having us. Thank you very much. much.